1.21 oh, I can't do it. So we've reached the 21st of October 2015, the day when Marty McFly jumped forward in time. Now we don't quite yet have hoverboards and Jaws 19 isn't in cinemas, so the filmmakers predictions were a little bit off. We here at Xbox On thought it might be fun to give a nod to this special day by looking back in time to see if video games have fared any better when it comes to predicting the future. Released in 1998, Half-Life had a rather stark view of the near future. An experiment gone wrong opened up a portal to another dimension, allowing aliens known as Zen to enter the Black Mesa research facility. Players controlled Dr. Gordon Freeman, who had to fight for survival against aliens who wanted to kill all humans, <coughs> and the hazardous environment combat unit, who wanted to kill the aliens and any people who happened to catch a glimpse of the aliens. Fortunately, Gordon, armed with his trusty crowbar and his PhD, manages to save the day, but I'm pretty certain that there weren't any reports of alien invasions in New Mexico back then, unless there was like a massive cover-up and... Oh my god. Released in 1996, 3D Realms described Duke Nukem 3D as being set sometime in the early 21st century. Okay then. There were lots of hints at what could be seen in the future, such as Sister Act 3 featuring scantily clad ladies rather than nuns, and Attack of the Beach Blonde Biker Bimbos. Those might actually be a thing now, but I really don't want to look them up. You wouldn't shoot a lady, would ya? However, Duke can also arm himself with futuristic freeze and shrink rays, as well as the expander, which, as you might have guessed, does the opposite of what the shrink ray does. Unless they're locked away in some secret vault, I don't think we have that kind of tech yet. And I'm pretty sure that the LAPD haven't been mutated into pig cops with LARD inscribed on their uniforms. See what you did there, Duke Nukem. I see what you did there. Released in 2013, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon was set in the future of 2007? Wait, what? Ah, okay, this one's a bit different. Released as a game in its own right, it took the mechanics of Far Cry 3 and ultra atified it. Yes, that is a word I just made up. Set in a retro-futuristic open world, it took what Back to the Future 2 did to the extreme, with Ubisoft describing it as an 80s VHS vision of the future. You play Mark IV Cyber Commando Sergeant Rex Power Cult and have to face enemies such as the Omega Force and the Running Dead. Scientists amped on dragon's blood. Yep, dragon's blood. Oh, and the dragons that the game takes its name from? Giant T-Rexes covered in neon lights basically. And they shoot lasers from their eyes, of course. The sharks? Robot sharks. Ostriches? Robot ostriches. This was a ridiculously funny and enjoyable parody game, unafraid to take the mick out of those in the 80s who dared to predict the future. Sorry, Doc. Released in 1990, Street Fighter 2010 was set in well, the clue's in the name. Before Street Fighter 2 came along, Capcom had a go at jumping forward in time, with Ken Masters turning from karate expert to super scientist who can make super amazing, highly advanced robotics. Okay. Oh well, who says you can't have brains and brawn? Not only is there this slightly bizarre career change, but Ken himself also has bionic upgrades, making him a force to be reckoned with in a universe of interdimensional travel and colonized planets. Some covered in some fairly interesting creatures, all trying to separate Ken from his, um, upgrades. Some will see Assassin's Creed as a series well and truly set in the past, but it's not really. From Assassin's Creed to Assassin's Creed 3, players run around the Holy Land, Renaissance Italy and Revolutionary America by technically playing as Desmond Miles in the Animus. So you don't play as assassins in the past, you play as an assassin in the future, playing as his ancestors in the past. If this was 2010, I'd make an Inception joke. The first Assassin's Creed released in 2007 was actually set in 2012. 
Desmond's storyline is set in the run-up to the predicted end of the world on the 21st of December 2012, taken from a Mayan calendar that was actually just cyclical and we all had nothing to worry about. I won't say whether it does or doesn't happen in the series because spoilers, but if players looked outside they'd see a rather stark white world outside with super modern buildings that look a little too futuristic for the 2012 we remember. So they got that wrong. Well that and the whole technology that can make you replay the memories of your dead ancestors thing. Well at least Desmond never had to deal with accidentally bumping into his mum in the Animus. So it seems video games haven't been much better at predicting the future than Back to the Future 2. Are there any other bad gaming predictions you can think of? Or any games that got it right? Let us know in the comments down below, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and if you subscribe, I predict you'll be seeing more cool videos from us in future. Bye!